Considering I have been watching Tracy Beaker for the best part of 20 years, I've been reading Jacqueline Wilson books for just over that. When my mum Tracy Beaker came out a few years ago, I jumped on it, I devoured it, I adored it. I have since then read the two books that followed. And when I found out that they were making my mum Tracy Beaker as a TV series, I was excited but apprehensive. And the reason I was apprehensive is partly because, you know, I have a deep love of the TV show because it meant a lot to me growing up. And also because I adored the book and I had certain expectations. And apart from a few awkward casting choices that don't really reflect the book itself, it's pretty great. So I'm not going to spoil anything in terms of the development of the episodes. There are three episodes, each one the average half hour in length. And the three episodes combined to make up the whole of the first book. And I will say it did end with To Be Continued and the fantastic Tracy Beaker theme song. So I'm assuming that we are getting We Are the Beaker Girls next, which I cannot wait for because I think that book was even better than the first one. But that aside, My Mom Tracy Beaker as a TV show is brilliant. I have to absolutely have to praise Emma Davies. I said there were some bad casting choices, but that is not the case with Jess Beaker. I thought she was brilliant. I thought she really embodied the character of Jess because Jess, for the most part, is the antithesis of Tracy. She's quite reserved. She's 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 as creative as Tracy, but she's a lot more reserved and quiet. But she's still got that fibre of feistiness in her that we see being brought out when mainly when she's defending her mother. I think her distaste towards Sean Godfrey was very apparent and I think that was very much like it was in the book and how I would have expected. I think the casting there, Emma Davies, was absolutely brilliant and I can't wait to see you know, what she does next with this character when we get to see the story continue. On screen with Danny Harmer, she's got a fantastic chemistry. They look great together. The casting is brilliant. I was... I guess that was my biggest concern with them getting that right. And I do think that they did get that spot on. The other, I guess, casting I was ex- very ecstatic about was the return of Cam. I love Cam. I've always loved Cam. She's been one of my favourite characters for many years. And just seeing Lisa Coleman back was just absolutely fantastic. I was so happy. Really loved her in this. Um, and, and I always will, of course. Justine Littlewood, brilliant, great to have her back. Um, She wasn't in this as much as she is in the book. I didn't feel her presence quite as much, but when she was in it, it was very effective. So the castings that I... Well, really, there are... There's really only one bit of casting that I really felt was really not good. And then there was one that I thought was... Not the best choice, but it still worked. So not the best choice was Sean Godfrey. He's played by Jordan Davigno. I apologise if I mispronounced that. And acting, fantastic. But he just doesn't look like Sean Godfrey in the book. He doesn't necessarily act like Sean Godfrey either. And I don't know if that's maybe just because in the book we get to see more of Sean Godfrey. And... It's not possible to say his name without saying his full name. We get more of him in the book. So I think just in terms of his personality, if this had been a six-parter, which would have been too much, we might have seen more of him. But this was definitely more about the Beaker girls. That casting was fine. I got over it, but it's just not what I expected. The casting I was really quite annoyed with was the casting of Miss Oliver, played by Danielle Henry, and no problem with the acting, and absolutely nothing against the actress herself. But she's just absolutely not how the character is described in the book whatsoever and you know I really loved her in the book and here I just felt everything was all wrong and it just didn't work for me so that bit of casting was really off but at the same time it's not like she was in every other scene so I could make my peace with that I was quite excited to see what the Cadillac would look like it wasn't quite as vibrant as I expected um, but it was obviously really great to see that the narrative is not exactly the same as the book. It's, it follows the general arc and all of the key plot points are in there. But there are one or two locations that are slightly different. Not enough to make the narrative change. Just enough to kind of keep you on your toes a little bit. Because this does follow Jess more so than Tracy, 
it's not just a replica of the story of Tracy Beaker uh, or Tracy Beaker Returns. It's quite nice to have Tracy in the background seeing how she responds to other people and what she's like as a mother. And I guess it's not so big of a jump from the story of Tracy Beaker because we did have Tracy Beaker Returns. We've seen Tracy at various points over the last decade or so. Had it been just going from the story of Tracy Beaker, which I believe ended in 2015, uh, 2005, sorry, it it would have been quite a leap. But I think the casting worked very well and I think Tracy's very much true to who she is. She's matured, she's grown up, but she's still, she's still Tracy Beaker and always will be Tracy Beaker. There are a few flashbacks in this that I won't spoil. There's a little bit of creativity but not as much we don't have scenes being recreated by Nick Sharat but it's 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 a lot more gentle and emotional than the story of Tracy Beaker it does feel like an adaptation of you know if you've seen things like the adaptation of the illustrated mum it feels like it's got that kind of same atmosphere and I am pleased with this I was very nervous I had very high hopes and it delivered it completely delivered. I cannot wait to see what they do with We Are The Beaker Girls. And I hope that it's sooner rather than later because I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the... Nope, I was going to say what they do with a certain location in We Are The Beaker Girls and some characters that make an appearance as well. So I'm really very excited for that and I'm hoping they get the casting right there. But apart from the few little glitches here and there with my mum Tracy Beaker... I do think, generally, it's it's pretty fantastic. <laughs>